to clip a bird's nails. There's no getting around it. Clipping your bird's nails can be nerve-wracking for both you and your feathered friend, but it's got to be done. You will need a bird whose nails could use a clipping, bird nail clippers, styptic powder, and paper towels. Optional, a helper, work gloves for your helper, and a towel. Step one, don't rely on sandpaper perches to keep your bird's nails in shape. They don't work and they may hurt your bird's feet. Step two, ask an avian vet, bird breeder, or pet store employee what will work best for your bird. For tiny finches, regular nail clippers can be used. For large parrots, you may need an electric nail grinder. No kidding. Step three, make sure all doors and windows in the room are closed. Step four, gently remove your bird from her cage. If your bird isn't hand tame, wait until late at night when she's sleeping. Step five, if your bird is large, have a helper wearing work gloves. Hold her while you check her feet. If she's small, hold her with one hand while you check her nails with the other. If you have a large parrot with a strong beak, your helper should use a towel to cover the bird's head, gently of course. Step six, hold the bird's foot up to the light. If she has pale nails, you can easily avoid nicking the vein inside the nail. Step seven, if your bird has dark nails, clip off only about 1 16th of an inch. Step eight, no matter how long the bird's nails are, snip off only the short point at the end of each nail. Step nine, work as quickly as you can. Pedicures are stressful for birds, so speak calmly and soothingly to your bird as you clip. Step 10, don't freak if you take off a little too much and the bird's nail starts to bleed. This happens. Just wipe the nail gently with a paper towel and dip it into styptic powder. The bleeding should stop quickly. Watch your bird carefully once she's back in the cage. If the bleeding persists, call an avian vet. Step 11, when you're done, return your bird to her cage and heave a sigh of relief. You two will get used to pedicures. Besides, you've just helped to protect her from hurting herself and you without the stress of a vet visit. Did you know a hawk's talons are curved so it can grab prey, while a hen's claws are flat and stumpy so she can walk around easily. <laughs>